Sometimes you just want a Big Mac and you should be able to have it. Those businesses are preying on the community. Maryland's Prince George's County is plagued with the highest obesity rates in the Washington, D.C. area. Higher incidence of cancers, um, obesity, uh, diabetes. A heavyweight battle between customer choice and government regulation is heating up. Prince George's Councilwoman Karen Tolles has a bill that would give officials final say on what fast food eateries open up by requiring property owners to go to the county board before changing the use of their property. It addresses eating and drinking establishments, um, fast food establishments, it addresses gas stations. I'm here to do what the people have hired me to do, protect them and to keep them healthy. What it's really about is social engineering. Justin Wilson of the Center for Consumer Freedom is against the bill, which he says infringes on the freedom of consumers and businesses. At this point, the law says you have to put notice that you're trying to create a fast food restaurant as if anyone in the community is allowed to vote on what a business owner is allowed to do with his or her business. We don't let the community vote on who's allowed to move into which home or which businesses are allowed to move into other businesses. Tolls, however, sees the fast food businesses as trespassers who are preying on her constituents. Many of these business owners don't even live in the county, don't even live in that community, but they are making decisions that are affecting the community without their input. If a fast food restaurant was offering things that people didn't want to eat, then that restaurant would go out of business. But Prince George's County has the highest obesity rates in the D.C. area. Is it because there's too much fast food? Obesity is far more complicated than just blaming it on one single industry, whether it's the soda industry or the fast food industry. If the causes of obesity are complicated, so are government attempts to restrain fast food. Even as Tolls is pushing her new law, the county recently loaned $300,000 for Little Caesars Pizza to open two new locations. Perhaps most people are eating fast food not because it's the only alternative, but because they like it. And at the same time, we have a variety of healthy fast food restaurants, or we have a variety of healthy things on the menus of the fast food restaurants that are otherwise serving cheeseburgers and french fries. Consumers deserve, I think, a degree of choice, and zoning is so core to infringing on what a building owner, a restaurant owner, or a consumer are engaging in. Toll's bill is scheduled for a vote later this year for Reason TV. I'm Kennedy.